Welcome back. It's been 50 years since the Texas Western Miners made history winning a national title. And now a group of first-time filmmakers are helping to keep that history alive and hoping they too can win a national championship. It's a story you'll see only on ABC7. The story of the 1966 Texas Western Miners. Five and the ball game is over. As Kentucky has lost the championship game. It's become the stuff of legend, even making it all the way to Hollywood. Texas Western is the new national champion. Of course, it's a story that still does and always will capture our hearts in El Paso, but it's actually across the border in New Mexico, in a small town where a group of high school students are hoping to keep the story of the 66 miners alive for an entirely new generation. We traveled to the small town of Moriarty, New Mexico, to Moriarty High School, to meet the students responsible for creating a new documentary on the miners. A group of basketball players in El Paso, black, white, Hispanic. A documentary that, oh by the way, won their state history day competition. After the students decided what to wear, <laughs> We wanted to know how the story of the miners spoke to high school students five decades later. Everyone in our group is a minority, like we have Hispanics. De Haven is black, Asian, and Hispanic. A lot might not be the same for us today if it wasn't for this team. We might not be playing as much on the sports that we're participating in, or we might not uh, be on them at all. I mean, who knows? The group's faculty mentor, Amy Page, was skeptical at first that a group of ninth and 10th grade students could even tackle this subject matter. So when the kids came to me initially with the story, I said, if you're going to tell this story, it's got to be done right. You have to handle the story with dignity, and you have to make it worthy of the history that it is. Segregation in America perpetuated the oppression and marginalization of people of color. The students got a big break in February. The miners were reuniting in El Paso for a celebration of the 50th anniversary of their championship. Of course, the group just had to go. Seeing each of these players and like seeing how they all were just a family. Honestly, there's no other way to describe it. That's when we finally realized probably at the 50th anniversary as well, just that this was a lot bigger than National History Day. They were able to conduct personal interviews with the actual players from the team creating a personal connection to the story. My grandpa had um, to go to the Air Force and he was African American and they didn't allow him to play some games or some like sport events when he went to the Air Force. Like I didn't really know a picture of that but now doing some research, or research about the, the racism in 1966 it actually like gave me a big idea on what my grandpa had to deal with. Now the group will be taking one more trip Winning their state history day competition means they get to go to the national competition, coincidentally, in College Park, Maryland, the site of the 1966 Texas Western Championship game against Kentucky. Though these students started together on the project as strangers, they'll be going to nationals as something else. You, you can say we're really close. We're, we're a tight unit, and it's just like a team, like a basketball team. We're just... We sometimes hate each other, and sometimes we just have to pull it in as a team and work together. And the national competition runs June 6th through the 11th. We'll, of course, be keeping an eye on these students as they try to bring home a national title, just like the Miners did 50 years ago. Elsewhere in the sport.